What is up guys, Ruluk here and we are back in Minecraft and in the last episode we went ahead and did this beautiful blaze rod farm. As you can see we have it kind of um, filled up. So what we just do is grab our netherite sword and just destroy everything that's in the way. Make sure we don't get hit by the blasts. Let's see how much... I already emptied out these chests by the way, so as you can see we've gotten 12 so far. There's a looting three netherite sword, so let's see how good this gets. Let's see. Okay, we're getting blasted at. Just gotta dodge. Just like that. Alright, so we have none on us. Over here we have 18. Over here we have 39, so perfect. Come on, there we go. So yeah, this is basically spawning up right right there. There you can see the spawner right there in the corner. So as long as we're down here, all of this is going to be spawning all the time. We have already decorated most of, well, I think everything here basically. These are all slabs, so none of them are spawnable just in case. Although we do have enough light for nothing to actually spawn here. I think even around here, that is a 10, so not really. Uh, we got a couple of anvils, our crafting table, we got a respawn anchor just in case we die. Let me just say right there again. All of these are filled up with blaze rods that I've been farming up a bit. So everything from this same old blaze farm. We already got some meat over here just in case. And over here we got all of our brewing stands. We got three of them. I think we're going to need probably... Yeah, I think that's going to be good. We have all these potions which I want to turn all into extended ones so let's go ahead and do this like that and let's put this this and this we put nine over here as well and that way instead of three minutes they're going to be eight minutes so that way we have eight minutes of basically not being able to get burnt so without that, I don't know if I would have been able to do this blaze rod uh, farm because, yeah, they were just attacking me constantly, non-stop, and they were just everywhere. So I would have just died every three seconds. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put these things in here. We got some lava, some other stuff we don't need. More blaze powder. So yeah, basically all we got to do is whenever we're low on anything here, we just come over here, take out these guys. Take out that fire. Careful with the ones that are already attacking us. Out. Like that. And yeah, so what we have today, what we have in store for today, is we're going to be making our Wither Skeleton Farm right over here in this corner. So we got one bridge over here, one bridge over there, another one that leads right here, and another one that leads over there. So there's a perfect intersection so we can make our farm. As we can see, we already have a blaze up there. But we don't have to fear as long as we have these with us. Let's go ahead and take these. Got some splash ones just in case. We'll take this as well. The materials we're going to be building with. We've got blackstone. Oh, oh, oh. We got blackstone. So with that we can probably make most of the build. But I want to keep it mostly nether bricks. I think we should have enough with all of that. And some glass just so we can see what's going on in there. We're going to go ahead and take these two. And we're going to leave those guys there. I took all the potions. Perfect. So we should be rather safe. Up there, I left it like that. So basically, we just have to fly in here. I don't trust uh, leaving a wide open gap for anything to just come in here. So let's see. We're probably going to have to take out all of this land around here. Ooh. Uh, 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 uh. I need another brick. Let's go ahead and grab it over here. There we go. Hello. We take this. No fire from us. There we go. Now he can shoot all he wants, but he's not going to hurt us. Let's see. One more hit. We got a wither skeleton over to our left. Let's go ahead and take it out. We have a smite... Five, I think it's called or smite sword so yeah this should be easily there we go now we got a little blaze over there 
So basically, this build is going to be a... From the center point here, it's going to be eight blocks on each side. So let me go ahead and take care of this guy so he's not annoying us. There we go. You're okay. So from here, we want to get our center point. Let's make it... Let's see. Let's make it out of glass, I guess. All right. So this being our center point, we want it to go right here. Yeah. So here we're in three, 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 and three. Perfect. And then from here, we want to go eight. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So right about here. Everything else is going to basically get taken down. So that way we have only this. And this has to be right around this level. We'll have to take out all of this right here. Carefully standing on the corners. And filling out eight in each side. So again, over here, we want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then right here on the corners. And then fill this out. Like that. Uh, I need more. Uh, another bricks on the white one. Go ahead and place that there. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nothing behind us. Perfect. The dangerous part is basically taking out these extras because we also have the pillars right below us. We got to take all of this out. So nothing here becomes spawnable. And then we're going to have to take out all the land around us. So this, that over there, above us, I believe we have also. Yeah, we got some more. So we're going to have to take out all of that crap. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and fill this out. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Perfect. So now we have our eight by eight. I'm going to go ahead and clear out all of this crap, all of this crap, and all of that crap. And I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. So now we've slabbed all of this off. I said I was going to destroy it, but in the end, I'm like, it's a lot of blocks. It's probably just easier to slab them, and that way it's non-spawnable. We do have a little skeleton over there. I want to take them out. So basically, anything basically in this area is what's going to be spawnable. Later on, we'll have to take out all of this crap, all of everything in the surrounding areas in a one, 128, I believe, area. So we're going to have to kill all all of the land let's see we are starting to see a bit more wither skeletons so that's also good with this farm we're still gonna have yeah there's another one with this farm we're still gonna have some blaze spawning some skeletons and all of that the only way around it would be with wither roses but with the new patch i think they're not even spawnable so we're going to have to have them in certain places. It's not going to be the best farm, but it is a farm nonetheless. I forgot we don't have gold on us. So, um, I think there was some gold in the chest over here, but it doesn't matter. So now what we want to do here is patch all of this up. So we have to close it all in, make it a bigger spawn area. So we're going to go ahead like this. We're going to make a giant square. Just like that. All the way to over here. Being careful with our backs. So nothing spawns up behind us and kills us or launches us into the freaking uh, lava ocean. Let's go ahead and eat first. Alright, so same thing over here and on each side. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. All right, so now here we want to go ahead and make our walls. So at our walls, we're going to make them out of glass. So that way we can see what's going on inside. Uh, I think maybe like this. That should be good enough for now. So we're going to go ahead and close off everything on the outside. Not like that. So like this. Hate it when you mess up with like that. Let's see, like this. All around this square. 
And this we're gonna have to do it at least three high is probably the safest. Because we are gonna put another block on each one of these sides. So they're gonna be able to probably jump on that and then jump on the other side if we put it two blocks high. So yeah, uh, cover it all three blocks and I'll be right back. All right, so now that we got all of our walls set up, now we need a very important animal in this game, which is our dog. So we're gonna need one dog on each side. That means four on each side. And we're gonna make it three stories, so about 12. Yeah, 12. Uh, let's go ahead and head back to our overworld, which I've been breeding up some dogs, so we should have 12 already. We'll check in just a bit. If not, we have some bones. We can go ahead and breed them up. Let's just head right down here. Made my life a bit easier with these vines. All right, so let's head over to the overworld and check what's up. All right, so headed over to our main. You can see that right here we have a bunch of dogs that we've been just basically breeding. Got a couple of babies here, here and there. Let's see, we have one two over there three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen dogs so we're gonna be left over with two dogs but for now we're gonna go ahead and bring over uh let's say four so all of you will be our future sacrifices for this farm let's let's head over there we're also gonna need some trap doors just to keep them safe in there they're all gonna spawn at you, but you also gotta push them into the nether. So let's see if we can do that. Okay, one's down, two down, three down. Is there another one? Is the one like above? Where is he? Let's see if he'll spawn away. Is that all of them? All right, apparently it was all of them. So let's go and check. We should have all of our dogs in the nether. Come on. Get out of the way. No, no, no. Don't head back in there. Come over here. All right, so you sit. You sit. You two over here as well. All right, perfect. So we got our four dogs right here. Let's go ahead and grab our trap doors. 37, 64. Let's use those red ones since we already have them. So each one is going to be four. There's going to be 12. So that would be 12, 24, 48. All right, so 48 slabs. Okay, we got an enderman over there. How are you doing, buddy? Uh, that farm isn't for you, but okay. Now, let's go ahead and grab our dogs. Let's head up. And they should be teleporting right where we are. Let's see. Go down. There we go. Now go up. Hopefully, none of them just touch the nether portal. Careful with the lava, please, dogs. Let's see. Hopefully, we can get them all there safely. Oh crap. Uh, let's head over to our base just so they don't get attacked. We don't want any mishaps. Okay, we already got some um, dangers in here. Let's take out the immediate danger. Okay, like that. Careful with these guys. Nope. Take out the fire so we don't have any mistakes. Now, roll call. We gotta see if all of our dogs are here. I only see three. One is missing. Where the hell? Let me see if I teleport far away. Will he spawn in? Okay, I, uh, I don't know what happened to the other dog. I'm probably gonna have to go search for him. If not, he probably went to the nether. If not, he probably fell into the um, lava. Yeah. 
So let's just go ahead and set these guys up. So one on each side, one on this bottom slab right here, and just push them right in. So we put that right there. And now he's completely safe in there. Same with this one. We'll push this one, I guess. Right there, and right inside. There, he's safe right there. Now you need to go right over here, and into this corner. Now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and look for the other dog, and I'll be right back. All right, so now we have all of our four dogs set up. So this would be the first floor. So now we're gonna need to dig down. Let's see, I need more trap doors. We're gonna need some iron ingots, which I believe we have over here. So let's head over here. Head straight down. And go ahead and look for our iron. There we go. And I believe that's it. So let's go ahead and grab some iron bars. I think with 16 is fine. It's for a 12. Yeah, should be enough. We'll set the rest of the iron over here. And head out. Let's head over here. All right, so now we have this and also, I forgot, this should actually be a four gap over here. So let me see, this should be like this. Should take out these. Because if not, it's gonna be way too wide. So if there's skellies, they're gonna actually just run over here and then they're gonna be afraid of both dogs and they're not gonna move. So we need to take out these four. And go ahead and cover this up like that. Like that. So that way they're not staying over here. But they're going to look for the closest place. Which would be over here. Right up to the center. Same with this side and each side. So let me go ahead and do that. And I'll be right back with this center point. Alright, so from here. From this center point, you want to open a 3x3. Three and this is basically where the chute is going to be, where they're going to fall. So you got to get crystals from this corner diagonally right up to the corner right here. So we want to make sure this is three high as well. So that's like that. Three, one, two, three. Perfect. So all of that on each corner. And as well as you want to put these trap doors right here. Like that. And then you want to put, uh, we're going to put glass for now. Any block is fine, and then we're gonna put our iron trap doors, or iron bars, I should say, on each side. And one right here in the center is probably preferable right here, so they think they can just jump from here. These are gonna be down, so the point is for them to think this is a full block, they're gonna go across and try to walk across, and then they're just gonna fall. So like that. And then these are just so they don't go on the side, so they don't... Let me go ahead and take these out. So they don't try to go like this and then go over here in the corner. That's going to stop them right there and they're just going to walk towards over here and fall down the chute. So let me go ahead and cover these. So like that. All the way to the corner. And then just go up three again. The reason I said three is if you left it at two, they, they could probably go like this and then just jump out. I don't know. Maybe. Better be safe than sorry. So like that. And like this. Right up to the corner. Perfect. So from here, this should already be a functional semi-farm because we still have to put the loadout where everybody's going to drop and give us all the skulls. So now we're going to go from here. We're going to go down three. So that'd be one, two and three. 
Make sure there's no lava. There could still be lava pockets inside another fortress fortress. So yeah, uh, let's see. And the reason I put the dogs on top of a glass block is not because it's spawnable or non-spawnable or none of that. It's just so I can indicate where the next dog is going to be sitting. So now it's a lot easier for me to just say, okay, this is where we have to stop. And then we just put the dog right here. So now we just fill up all of these, empty all of this out, and I'll be right back. So basically everything you did on the top, we're going to do at the bottom. So yeah, be right back. All right, so now we have all of our dogs set in place. So there's four here, four on the next floor, and four on the first floor. And we brought uh, two extra ones, and I just bred another one, so just in case, because we're going to need another one down here. So here we're have to gonna we're gonna have to go down another three blocks. So this isn't gonna be a floor where we're gonna be spawning them at. Let's see. As long as we can step here, we're okay. Alright, so we'll pick a side. Let's we'll see which side is actually better. Let's see. Where's the exits? There we go. All right, so we want it is completely completely straight, so perfect. So right here, we want our nether rack. Right here, one, two, three, one, two, and three, one, two, and three. So here's where our wither roses are going to be at, right where they should be dropping, and then here. We're actually going to want... I mean, we can take out all of this, put it in glass. Still a pretty big uh, build right here. So we might actually leave the kill chamber just here, maybe? Here we got to go forward a bit. Like right there, maybe? Yeah. I'll leave that. And then here is where they're going to go down. We're going to need one of these. Let's make it pointing downwards. Right there. So that way they think they can jump over here and then they go like that. And they would fall because they're three high. So I'm only too high so I can make it up there. And then over here. Let's go ahead and close this off. Completely, so there's no spawns. Alright, so here we'd need a glass flooring. So that way they can see our little puppy that's going to be right here. Let's say right here. It's going to be right there. Let's completely close this off because we're not going to need it. Just like that, and then we can close it off right there. And over here we can close all of this. Now we'd have to sit a dog right here. So that way the wither skeletons, when they fall, they go ahead and drop over here. Because they're afraid of the dogs. So now we have to climb up. That's it. Ah, iron bar. Over here. Let's see if we can get a dog right over here. You come with me. Let's see if we can get him to sit over here. Come over here. Come on. Over here. Alright, just sit down then. Let's see if we can get him to get up here. Over here. Come on. There you go. Now let's see if we can fit him right in there. Perfect. And then here we'd have to slab like that. And now we have a dog that's going to be scaring all of the wither skeletons over here. So now this one we're looking at floor 51. So we have to go about 34, 35 blocks. So we'll probably get up to 17 if I'm not mistaken. 
So let's go ahead and take our potion of fire resistance. So just in case we fall into lava, go ahead and take another one just in case. And we're going to go all the way down to Y17. So right here, what we're going to do to make it non-spawnable is put glass flooring. So that way nothing spawns here. Nothing's annoying us. And we can get on with our lives. So, like that. Alright, so here glass. And we should be at Y16, exactly. So when we go over here. We're at Y17. All right, so now from the point where they're over here dropping from, you wanna make sure you put three hoppers, one right here facing down, two of them right on the sides or next to the other one, and then surround this with glass. Don't worry if anything drops cause they should be dying. A slab right in the center one, two trap doors on the sides. And then here we can go ahead and put two full blocks. And then over here, we can go ahead and put our trap doors up. Go with half slabs on the sides. And then with those half blocks, we can go ahead and put glass on two of the sides. All right, now since this is a 34, 35 height drop, we do want to make sure that they actually survive. So we got to get our lava, which we got over here. We want to grab a sign or something. Let's see. Can't open these. Let's see. I might have a sign. I don't think so, but let's see. No. Any wood? No, I don't. Okay, so I got to grab a sign real quick. This is glass. And it's just building material. So yeah, let me go ahead and bring the glass and I'll be right back. Alright, so right here on the 16th block, we want to go ahead and put one right down here. Want to make sure you put another brick down over here just so the lava doesn't come towards you. And then you can just place the lava. So right there, they should have a cushioned fall leading all the way down to the kill chamber. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, and once you're here, you should basically have all of this set and done. Let's see if we can get some more glass over here. Oh yeah, we already got one skeleton. So this came from a actual just wither skeleton I fought at the top, it wasn't in the farm. But yeah, that's one less we have to take care of. And let's see, uh, we're gonna do this and this, so that way we can just attack like that. These we can actually take care of. Don't need those. And I guess technically you wouldn't need these. But just for safety, that's only one block. So the only thing that can actually come right here is probably just a zombie piglin. Just a tiny one. That doesn't really matter. And let's go ahead and grab our chests. I have so much crap in my inventory. Uh, let's see. The glass can stay. Put everything inside and then right here what you can do is either put your chest so you can let's say open it from here like that and then you have to put and connect these with the hopper so you go ahead and grab your hoppers send them either right through there or you can send them around however you like So from the chest, we go one, two, three, four, and then that one will go into here. And then here we can go ahead and cover that with glass. And over here, if you have slabs, you can go ahead and slab it off. And now you should have a complete wither skeleton farm just in time. So right here with a looting five, it's looting three sword, my bad. Looting three, we can go ahead and just attack. And hopefully they start dropping stuff, let's see. Nope, no wither skeleton, but it is a very small drop of getting it, so it's going to take a while. But either way, we do have a functional wither skeleton farm just now. So 
this is the only skeleton we have so far but make sure that if you guys did enjoy the video go ahead and give it a like don't forget to comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace